In the My Generation at Work project, our main goal is to bridge the gap between going to school and getting a job. In order to do so, we focus on different aspects. Developing enterprising skills, finding brokers between jobs and education, creating new spaces to cooperate and develop skills, coaching young entrepreneurs, and assisting those who want to launch their own business or have already done so. To have a common language for working, My Generation at Work uses the so-called innovation spiral. We feel it's helpful to design the city projects starting with a prompt or a problem, then come up with proposals for a possible solution, leading to prototypes of new services, which leads to a sustainable workflow, the local action plans, and then scale it up until you have a systemic change. At some point, young people have to decide what kind of career they want. But as jobs aren't exactly piling up and waiting for them, this choice is difficult and young people need some help with it. The problem is, some of the partner cities don't have a proper career counselling system. For these cities, it's important to reinvent their system and have some sort of brokers that help young people with information and work practice. We need counsellors, we need brokers, we need go-betweens in, in many ways. People who know the people, let's say from the street. But we also need other kinds of brokers that can be go-betweens between the young person and the world of work in, in many ways. So, these cities need brokers who connect all the available resources between the education of young people and their working life. But then, an important question would be... Who is this person in our... Um, reality. Reality, yeah. yeah. Who, who should be responsible for that? Because this connecting business is the basis of what we don't have. We don't, institutionally, we don't have it. So who's going to do the job? Difficult thing is, there's no exact answer to this question. It's a search. Though all cities do have some ideas of what this connecting should be like. Everybody has their, uh, have their mentors, like uh, from the uh, preschool to, to those uh, age of, I don't know, 20, like for example. And On the other hand, it's much more about uh, building networks, it's about uh, building uh, connections. He should be so uh, yeah. a consultant on one side and a connector, a networker from the other side. A connector between the young people at school and the real world a mentor, a coach. In fact, anyone could be a broker. Maybe young people should do the job. For example, you know about public speaking, you know about communication, you know about goals. You make a network and just share the information, right? Share the experience, it costs nothing. An important thing is that these brokers should not only show them where the jobs are, but also make sure young people get the skills to eventually keep the jobs. Employers do mention a lot that they're lacking a lot of attitudes that would help them stay longer than two months or four months at a specific job. All kind of soft skills like communication, ability to work together, stick to the deadlines, etc., etc. We've seen one example of brokerage combined with training skills in the city of Glasgow. There's a place called the Shettleston Hub. If a young person comes here for a job seeker's allowance, they get a training. And we talk to them about creating a CV, a covering letter, job interview techniques, so it's all the aspects of um, looking for work, how to look for work, where to look for work, how to improve their employability skills. This may or may not be the silver bullet, because when it comes to brokerage, there's still work to be done. But one thing is absolutely clear. There are a lot of resources around uh, that can be helpful in this. The young people, business, counsellors, public officials, whoever can, who can play an, an active part in this. What I'm hearing from the Polish, from the, from the Latvian, from the, from the Slovenian experience is it's about how to connect these resources.